and instructor uh, and presenter, uh, Ron McSpadden. Ron is the uh, program director slash marketing director of the Ontario Lacrosse Association. Uh, for, your, for those who are familiar with the, the FIL, you've noticed that there is a, every year we produce a, a pamphlet has a big world map of all of our countries, has our growth chart on it. Um, Ron's the one who did that for us uh, 15 years ago. That was his design. Um, it's evolved since then. Uh, so that's the type of stuff that, that Ron does. Um, you're not gonna find a more passionate lacrosse guy than Ron. So over the weekend, uh, talk to him and uh, you'll be enjoy your time with him. Uh, Ron's gonna talk about a new program uh, that we have for the Ontario Cross Association. It's a three-on-three -three box cross program. Uh, and it's we're doing it for the same reasons that a lot of our new countries are. To try to encourage kids to play and try to adapt a, a game that uh, will work. And, and he's going to kind of expand on Bruce uh, with a new program. Again, a try the cross program. And we're trying to marry up with the school program. Uh, without further ado, uh, Rob McSadden. Thanks. Uh, thanks very much, Dan. I wanted to start with a stick story because people brought up stick stories. Uh, we used to run camps in the summer and we used to have identical sticks with one exception. The stick length was the only difference in all of the sticks. And we used to put the sticks out for the kids. Uh, some kids brought their own sticks, of course, right? But for the kids that we knew, we put, put the sticks out. And after weeks, we would tell the children, you know, take, take a different stick, try a different stick every time. You'll see where you are with, with stick length. And of course, uh, we got to a point after, you know, three or four days where the kids had found sort of what was comfortable with them. And then they'd start to mark them up so, so they would know whose stick was whose stick. And then they'd argue over whose stick was whose stick, right? Um, but it's an interesting insight into where, where children and new athletes are when they come to the game with a stick. And it's very underestimated. It's brought up a couple of times. But uh, if there's any takeaway you could uh, leave from this conference with, it's that the stick really, really matters. This isn't like hockey in Canada where I can grab somebody else's. This is very personal and it is very, very important that that whole piece is, is about me, is with me, and something that I'm going to take to the game so that we have a chance to learn the game, which is really what it's about. Uh, two things I'm going to speak on. Number one is a program called Tri Lacrosse that we run um, now in Ontario. And uh, the other piece is the great question on development and where box development fits in overall country st strategic planning. Um, I want to talk about a three-on-three -three program that basically uh, reduces the space to increase the pace and force participants to learn the skills of the game, no matter what game they're playing, whether that's box across or field across. So trial across first, let's just talk about a promotional program to get kids in uh, to the game. So the objective here is to provide our OLA clubs that Bruce has um, uh, just talked about, uh, an opportunity for them to just in encourage uh, any of the children in their community come out to play and participate in a clinic, a clinic session. It's a very simple thing. And all that happens in this program is there's an online registration program that we have with Ontario Lacrosse where our, our vendor subsidizes the cost of the registration because there's fees, of course, um, involved with that. They subsidize those costs, so it's a zero cost. The OLA underwrites the insurance for those participants, right? And the local clubs then run great programming. So it's really a combination of two things. It is then the infrastructure of the game with our vendor being, uh, parents being able to online register their kids at no cost. And then the club at the other part, running a great program for the game, right? So the two pieces are, we're hoping, that there's a bridge between Tri Lacrosse and of course, children signing up to become online members. I'm not sure what else I've got here. Right, the four months are winter, spring, camps or clinics. Uh, the duration that we run and underwrite the program is January 1st to June 1st. The logistics here, they register online. There's a player registration fee that's waived. OLA provides the underwriting insurance. Uh, the club provides uh, some equipment. They're running activity, engaging and challenging and fun session. And at the end of the day, uh, the trial cross program, we promote with some posters for, for the community. And we of course have a postcard or a brochure, uh, which we'll put up on the screen here, uh, for you that we put into the schools. So the schools, all the kids do receive um, a postcard, basically two-sided postcard with date, time, and location of the program. And um, the uh, posters are for the school program and for the community. 
I think we maybe have some samples. We, we cover the program in a magazine. We uh, publish it on Ontario Lacrosse Magazine twice a year. And we, uh, of course, cover that programming in some of the stuff we do. And there couldn't be a better quote than the quote that's in the top corner of this page, which basically says that they open the doors to the gym. This is the example in Ottawa, Ontario. And the kids ran onto the floor. They just kept coming and coming and coming, the, these waves of kids. right? That's a quote from one of the volunteers that ran this program. Right, so that is, the, of course, the idea of it. It's an opportunity for, again, uh, the club to connect with the community and run a free program that they can hopefully engage kids in to sign up to become all in members. I think we also have here um, a piece that I wanted to discuss as it relates to integrating the Trilacross program with um, the school program that Bruce runs. And this is basically uh, putting together a 30-day program in advance that ahead of um, the school program puts these things in place. Lacrosse registration posters in the community. Some of our uh, small market um, organizations are very linked with local newspaper and radio in their market. We have trial across brochures that are in the schools. We have trial across posters that are in the community. There are trial across lawn signs, which I'll show you up here in a minute. There are door handles. 